Well, it's almost dinner time, so let's check out our food segment. As you know, Arby's is known for having the meats, but now they also want to be known for being a spot to get burgers. More on that, let's bring back in Ali Kanal with Arby's latest venture. Yeah, Rochelle, I mean, I'm very excited about this. Can you believe Arby's has never had a burger? They're really known for their roast beef sandwiches, never a burger. Here we have the new Wagyu Steakhouse Burger, 52% Wagyu, 48% ground beef. You have the specialty version with the bacon and the ranch. How is I it? I went all in. It's actually really, really good, but I'm shocked that, as I talk with my mouth full, and Rochelle, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, that they never had a burger. I feel like when I think of Arby's, you would assume that they had a burger, but this is a pretty good bite. I mean, if you, it was worth the wait. I think good. it's really, really good. This is really good. And as you mentioned, there obviously they're known for their for their roast beef. There's their stacked roast beef. You you have to wonder why it took them so long to get into this game, and and why now? Obviously, as we were just talking, a lot of alternatives out there when it comes to you know regular meat, traditional meat, alternative meats. So you know maybe this is the time to try something new. They see that a lot of consumers are seeing a lot of these other sort of collaborations and, and things that are trending. So maybe they're like, look, maybe this is our time to shine and, and do burgers. And I hear good things about the one with the bacon and ranch. So so let me know how it tastes. It's very good. I'll tell you, it's it's worth the hype and it's very, very good. But Ali, Arby's has really been so successful when it comes to these promotions. This isn't the first time that they've done this before. You mentioned the fact that it's only for a limited time, so it's only available to the end of July. But it really, they kind of set the bar, I think, amongst some of these fast food giants in order to get new people through their doors and really expand their business. That's exactly right. And Rochelle, you were alluding to it too. This is, there's a lot of competition right now. You really need to break through the noise. You need to do something fun and innovative. They had their Diablo Dare spicy sandwich not too long ago. Now they're releasing a burger. In the press release, they claimed that this burger is about 50% larger than a McDonald's quarter pounder. So you kind of know who they're targeting here. Uh, So I just think, this is a way to kind of get more consumers in and to really sell their business and get them to buy their their mainstay products. Yeah, Rochelle, what do you think? Are you going to give it a try? Here it is. I'm definitely I'm definitely going to give it a try. Okay, now, look, this is me, like all my hands. The, the, it looks <laughs> it's good. Big. I mean, it's a good size. That's a good size. Is it heavy? It looks heavy. Six point four ounces in a single patty. It's pretty heavy. I could do some crumb crum curls at the gym on, with this. <laughs> yeah, it's very, I mean, it's good. They have it packed, and I have the deluxe version, like Ali was saying. So we have the bacon, the ranch, the tomato, the lettuce, cheese. Um, I'm not really holding anything back when it comes to this. But a smart move by Arby's. Ali Canal, as always, thanks so much for bringing this to us.